Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. In this video, we're excited to bring you part two to our story of the Bad Batch finding Quinlan Voss. If you haven't seen part one, the link will be in the bio. We love both the Bad Batch clones and Quinlan Voss, and really hope we get to see them meet up in the up and coming Bad Batch show. If you enjoy, hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get into it. Quinlan Voss and the Bad Batch got onto their ship. Not knowing exactly where they were headed, all they knew was that the Empire was after Voss and they didn't have much time to wait. Where are we headed, gentlemen? said Voss. Crosshair then spoke up. We have to keep a low profile. We do not want the Empire knowing the whereabouts of a rogue clone squadron accompanying a Jedi. It's too much noise. Hunter then got up and looked at Echo. Hey Echo, why don't we pay a visit to your old friend Rex? The last I heard from him, he was lying low on Celos, and he can tell us more about what is going on. Echo's eyes lit up. Sounds good to me. Any objections? Quinlan Voss nodded. Rex was the bravest soldier the Republic had to offer. I'm in. Suddenly, Wrecker got up from his seat. Uh, guys, we've got company! The Empire had reached them on Jakku. Three Empire gunships along with several fighters came crashing through the clouds and began blasting at the ship. We have got to move, said Tech. Hold them off while I get us out of here. Leave that to me, said Wrecker. He pulled out a homing launcher and walked onto the ship's platform. He aimed and shot down the descending fighter. Ha ha ha! Got one! Within a few seconds, they were off the ground. Tech and Hunter were in the cockpit while Crosshair was on the gun. They ascended out of the atmosphere, blasting back at the clones. The gunships were dangerous, but their speed was no match for that of the Bad Batch. When in space, they were alarmed to see a mighty command ship of the Empire towering over Jakku. They quickly turned into the opposite direction and launched into hyperspace. After several minutes in hyperspace, they reached Celos. Alright, we're here. How are we going to find Rex? said Voss. Hunter pulled up his armor and began sorting through his data pad. These here are the coordinates that Rex told me to find him. Let's hope he's still there. The coordinates were considerably far from where they entered the planet, but they were luckily able to arrive before dusk. When they approached the site of Rex's last known location, the area was experiencing a sandstorm, making it quite difficult to see. However, through the sand, they spotted a shadow of a moving vehicle. There stood Commander Rex and his modified ATTE walker. Echo was the first off the ship, eager to see Rex. What's a man like you doing out here, Rex? There aren't any soldiers to take orders from you. Rex smiled. My days of giving orders are done, my old friend. But I'll boss you around until the day I die. Rex and Echo came together in an embracing hug. They were relieved to know they had both made it out of Order 66 alive and aware of what happened. Rex then looked to see Quinlan Voss and the Bad Batch coming off the ship. If you plan on blasting me, Rex, now's the time, said Voss jokingly. My chip is removed within hours of the commencement of Order 66, when Commander Tano saved me. We had to fight through hundreds of 501st soldiers, my brothers, just to make it out alive. We tried to save them, but we failed. Hunter then walked up to Rex and gave him a firm handshake. It's good to see you, Rex, he said. Rex nodded. You too, Hunter. I'm glad you guys made it. Come inside, everyone. I was just about to make dinner. The men talked about everything that had happened over dinner. The news was mostly bad, but there was hope. Rex told them that he had not heard from anyone besides Ahsoka, and that he eagerly wanted to save more clones. One thing Rex said particularly caught the attention of the group. I have heard rumors that Clone Commando Gregor is still alive on Abafar. He went missing after his last stand to save his fellow soldiers, but I have heard whispers. I was planning on going to search for him if you all are interested, Rex said. He's a skilled fighter and a brave soldier. Crosshair stood up with a questioning look. Rex, do we really want to risk being caught by the Empire by going to look for a lost Reg? If you have heard rumors of his survival, surely the Empire has. Hunter stepped in. We are all soldiers, Crosshair. Same heart, same blood. And we're going to need all the help that we can get. 
Does anyone care for the opinion of the Jedi? I outrank you all, said Voss with a smirk. The crew diffused and gave their attention to Voss. I think it's a smart plan. We have to remember that the next time the Empire finds us, we may not be so lucky. We must be careful, said Voss. Echo stood up and looked at the crew. It's settled then. Rex, ready for one last mission? Rex smiled. Always. Alright guys, we hope you enjoyed the continuation of this story. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on the video and if you'd like to see a part 3 to this story. Also, please leave a like and subscribe for more Star Wars content. We hope you have a great day and may the force be with you.